Hey, hey, and welcome back. It is a uh, Money Monday edition of Liquid Lunch. It's the uh, last call for our number one here on... It's the, it's, it's the first call of our number two. And we're going to be breezing through our number two here on this Money Monday uh, going into uh, our two today. Let's take a look at the markets down at the Dow Jones, down at the New York Stock Exchange. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is up about 100 um, just off its all-time highs, touched 27.5 this morning, which is great news for the bulls. And uh, Bitcoin up just about uh, 50 points today, well above that 9,000 number, heading towards 10, which is also good news. Uh, joining me uh, again for the top of hour two is Frank Morano, my co-host, managing editor of Liquid Lunch. And uh, Frankie, a lot to talk about, but we've been talking about the... Uh, 31 seats that were uh, flipped in the midterm elections, men, men, most of, all of them taken by Democrats. And uh, you and I are taking a look into those districts to see who the best people are. Yes, uh, we are heading down to Georgia today, uh, where we are looking at one of the most hotly contested congressional races in the entire country. Now, this was a race where the, uh, the current incumbent, Lucy McBath, won by 50% and a little bit, 50% and change over the incumbent Republican that she ousted. And you can bet this is going to be a race that the Democrats and the Republicans nationally pour resources into. And we actually have one of the Republican candidates that's running uh, in that particular district. She also, John, happens to have launched a petition to have Nancy Pelosi impeached, which has garnered tens of thousands of signatures online. Let us say hello to Marjorie Green. Marjorie, thanks so much for joining us on Liquid Lunch. Hey, Marjorie. Hi, guys. Thanks for having me on. Of course. So, Marjorie, you're down there in Georgia 6. Um, you're an outsider. You're, you're, you're a businesswoman. You're a mom. Uh, I know you have a lot of ideas, but tell us about this petition that you have out there um, to get rid of Nancy Pelosi. Okay, I'd love to tell you about it. Um, Basically, here's the premise. I actually wrote the petition back in January of this year of 2019, and that was when Nancy Pelosi led the Democrats to refuse to fund the border wall that the American people want to be built. We want secure borders. We want a border wall, and we want legal immigration. And I wrote that petition actually when the government had been shut down. And um, see, the rule is with White House petitions, you have 30 days to get 100,000 signatures, and that means your petition becomes an official petition. Well, in 30 days, I got over 182,000 signatures, getting, uh, making it an official petition by, I think it was like February 18th was the day. And then I delivered that petition to Nancy Pelosi's office on February 22nd, because I felt it was very important for her to understand that the American people feel she is not doing her job. She, as a matter of fact, not only is she not doing her job working for the American people, for the taxpayers, she is guilty of treason. And the reason why I said she's guilty of treason is because she gives aid and comfort to enemies of our country. Now we have thousands and thousands of people that cross our border illegally every single day and by funding sanctuary cities and promoting sanctuary city policies, promoting policies like um, giving health care to illegals, um, that is giving them aid and comfort. And I don't mean I don't mean enemies in a sense where any harm should come to them. I don't mean that at all. But it is they are breaking our laws and they are coming into our country illegally. And Democrats like Nancy Pelosi provide them aid and so, comfort by taking care of them Marjorie, and preventing Marjorie, them from being deported I, I, with sanctuary Marjorie, policies which block ICE. Excuse me, Marjorie, I, I, I understand that you disagree with Nancy Pelosi's politics. I do too, would never vote for her um, or the kind of policies that she represents in a thousand years. But by calling her actions treasonous, isn't that a bit too much? I mean, by that definition, isn't every congressional Democrat guilty of treason? Very possibly. So we're going to, but the logical extension of this petition is we're going to impeach every Democrat in Congress for treason? Well, you do realize what their job is for, right? It's to serve the American people. It's to serve our country, to that's, uphold our laws and our constitution. And That's a pretty no creative how, interpretation are, of the treason. I like it. I like it. I mean, you know, I, I get it. You know, sometimes, look, 
I, I get it. You know, Frank's my uh, Frank's my conscience here, and, and he's the managing editor of the show, so he's got to keep everything straight. But sometimes in this climate, you got to kind of go over the top to get any attention because, you know, people, normal stuff just goes by the wayside. I, I, I get it. Um, bringing every congressperson on the Democratic side up on treason may be a lot. Um, oh, I think so, but... Here's, here's the situation. So we've gotten to a point where our government is no longer working for the American people. Right now, we have the Democrats, Adam Schiff, Nancy Pelosi are leading the Democrats in an impeachment inquiry for President Trump, which most Americans are against. We do not want our president impeached. We have Congress who is failing the American people. We're over $22 trillion in debt. We do not have a border wall yet they'll fund Jordan $500 million to build a border wall. That's another country, but they won't fund ours. And so just to let you know, this petition that I wrote without me doing anything, I've shared it a few other times, but people are continuing to sign the petition and it now has 277,783 signatures. And that's without me promoting it in any hard way. And then also just to let you know, People always say, well, you can't impeach a member of Congress. You actually can. According to Article 2, Section 4 of our Constitution, it says the president, vice president, and all civil officers of the United States shall be removed from office on impeachment for in conviction of treason, bribery, or other cri high crimes and misdemeanors. So it is possible. But the whole point is, is we need Congress to work for the American people. And that is why I'm actually running for Congress. I'm one of the people that I have a great life. I have a successful business and a family. And I certainly don't need to be doing this in my life or need a paycheck of any kind. I already have a company that I love. And um, but I'm running for Congress because we are one of those seats that lost to what I call a Democrat socialist. And I call her that because she votes the same as AOC, Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib almost 100 percent of the time all right and so i've just gotten to the point where i'm fed up you know right. our former representative she didn't vote our values no matter we have what congress now refusing to do their job so it's time to you know americans have to step in all right well marjorie green no matter what we want voters to have many choices and we want to get people in congress whatever party they're in they support the president we appreciate yeah. you always taking a couple of minutes out of your day and uh, we'll have you back on again soon. Very, thank okay, you very much, thank Marjorie you. Green, Georgia number six. Uh, Frank, I know, I know, but you know what? You, you, a guy like you who fought for like ranked choice voting, uh, you should be happy to have people out there who are still willing to do these things. It, uh, you, know you know what I mean? It, At least there's an effort. It strikes me as a tremendous waste of time uh, and effort where, you know, the country has real problems and to try to spend time saying, that every Democratic member of Congress is guilty of treason, so let's impeach them, when the body that would be in charge of impeaching them is the Democratic House. I mean, it's a gigantic waste of time. Uh, basically, all it will do for uh, Ms. Green is get her Republican votes in a primary, which she needs to win, because this appeals to the hard right wing. Uh, I think it's a, uh, it's a publicity stunt. Okay, all right. Look, um, we bring you the guests, we let them talk to you. You decide. We yeah. only got one vote, just like you. Um, Marjorie Green takes time out of her day to talk to us every so often. She's taking a lot of time out of her life to try to give voters more choices out there. And uh, I'm supportive of people who support the democratic process. The uh, show goes to a whole nother level right after this. When one, one of the top criminal defense attorneys and one of the best entertainers you're ever going to meet, Matthew Mary joins us on set right after this to talk about all the legal implications of what's happening in this crazy political environment. You're watching Liquid Lunch, you stay right there. Maddie Mary, back at you with me and Frank right after this. <laughs>